what's his name? Anderson Pack. Yeah. I saw him on, on somebody's show with his whole crew. And they were dancing. I almost felt like I was at a party, but I wasn't, but it was like voyeuristic almost. And I'm looking at it, something that's happening that's really fabulous. And it was him playing Come Down. I didn't understand all the lyrics at the time, but he was playing that with that beat and they were dancing. It was so fabulous. So I immediately downloaded him because I had never heard of everybody else. All y'all people know who he was. I did. So it's my ringtone. Mother, 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 save your child. I'm supposed to be describing Alvin Daly American Dance Theater in five words. A company that's almost been around for 60 years. I will do the best. Accessibility. Genius for choreographer. Constant spiritual reciprocity going on, meaning that when you, what you're seeing on stage is constantly telling, informing you about yourself and you're informing us about ourselves. Be lifted. You know, I, I know that's more than five words probably, but what did we say? We said accessibility, we said uh, lifted, we said reciprocity, love total love of what we do and truth, you know, and being so excellent at what we do. You know, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm still attached as artistic director, but Robert Battle is locking it down. He is locked, it's an old fashioned way of saying that the man knows what he's doing. He understands that the company has to be about the past, the present and the future. And he sees an incredible future and still the Sankofa exists. When, when I say that Robert reminds me of Mr. Ailey, there's one thing that's, that's kind of obvious on him. There's some mannerisms that he, he does that remind me very much of Alvin, or his sense of humor reminds me very much of Mr. Ailey, but also his tenacity when it comes to how he choreographs and what he wants. He knows exactly what he wants, and he does the hard work behind it. He reminds me of Mr. Ailey that way but also of, of being a forward thinker, you know, and also of loving dancers. You have to love a dancer, because we don't all come pretty with packages and bones, you know? We come as we are, as human beings who happen to have the gift of dance, and he understands that. What do we carry as black women when we enter the world, when we enter the, the, the field of dance? Well, number one, I, I have to, quote Mr. Ailey is saying, as soon as I step on a stage, I'm political. As soon as you step out there, because people are gonna have stuff already in their head about what you should do, what you can do, what you would do, da da da, da. So you're already making a statement. The best advice that Mr. Ailey gave me, I must say, you know, before he passed, he just said, it's your company now. And what I said to Robert was, this is your company now. Still Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater but you have to claim it. In order to claim, you have to listen. You have to listen to every artist, every staff person, every crew person. You have to listen to everybody because they're, you're, you're the, the captain. As long as you're listening and you're hearing, you know, and still being a leader and surrounding yourself with people who are leaders in their own fields, you're fine. Best advice in the world, listen. My, my personal legacy would only be that um, I danced uh, out of myself. I danced. I gave it everything I could possibly give it. Not all the time. I mean, you know, I'm human. So you get up there and you, you do the best. When I'm teaching someone a piece, of choreography. First they have to get the steps. In order to get the steps you got to have the technique. So you should have done your scales already. I mean that's why we have an entire school here. So you have to learn your craft. Then you become a member of the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater or the Ailey 2 or you know whatever. That means you're at this level already. So I don't have to tell you certain things. I have to encourage you by letting you know that there's sacred space between us, that when we're working in a, in a classroom setting or when we're working on choreography, that this is a very special place that we're in. This is a sacred space and that you're safe here. It's a wonderment. It's a wonderment to experience. It's a wonderment to, 
to sit in an audience and watch where it blossoms to and then to watch years later and see that same person like grow so ridiculously like a creature. Alvin always wanted to think of us sometimes that we were otherworldly. There is nothing like it on earth. There is nothing like the honesty of an artist sharing with the rest of the world. Nothing like it. As close to God as you're going to get.